So, hey guys, what Rage Two here coming at you with a bit of a squad builder this time. It's an um, African skill hybrid, or it's a silver African skill hybrid with three five star skillers. I did not create the squad really all by myself. I found the squad on Futhead, and I will leave a link to that in the description. So, yeah, and um, instead of just um, showing quest for success, I'm also going to be bringing you guys some squad builders as I enjoy doing them. I enjoy playing squads with some other squads and so on. So look out for some other pretty interesting hybrids in the future. So in go we have uh, the Swede pair handsome plays for Helsing boy. He has 80 diving and 77 reflexes along 79 kicking, and he's a very solid silver goalkeeper. He's also six foot one and did the job quite well. Then in the middle uh, centre back we have Pontus Jansson who has 67 pace. And 74 defending, but only 59 heading, which is uh, not too normal with the centre back. He is, however, six foot five and wins most things in the air. And the only reason he's so bad, he also has, I think, 87 strength in game. The only reason he has such a bad heading is because he has terrible, terrible jumping and terrible heading accuracy as well. Uh, however, he did manage to score a corner for me, which I was quite surprised with. And then at the right centre back, we have the man from AIK. Uh, per Carlson, who's six foot but has 78 pace and 70 defending and um, the pace upgrade in FIFA 14 I think really deser deserved it because he is rapid in real life. And then in the left centre back we have Siabonga Sanguini who's six foot, he has 66 pace, 73 defending, 76 heading and he's 74 rated. He was, he's also the captain of this team. And then going into the midfield, the first left mid we have is Masuku. When I did play with this team I um, had him as a left mid so don't worry about that. Just this time I uh, had to rebuy him quickly because I sold him on for some reason and then I had to rebuy him and I just put him in left wing for the purpose of this squad builder. But he has 5 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot, 79 pace, 82 gripping. A quite solid player. I enjoyed him. He wasn't the best player in this team. He was quite weak, I felt, and uh, you could do a skill move, but often somebody would just, a defender would get their body just in, like, in between you or in between Masuku and the ball, and he'd get out Masuku off the ball quite easily. And then in the centre mid, oh, you realise that this uh, team has a lot of Alcestrenskan players, and that's because they do have quite a few African players, and it's, it gives some nice links. And then we have the South African centre mid here, Ma Mai Malungu with 88 pace, high high work rates and 70 dribbling, but all around he's just very solid and he's just everywhere. He's not very tall at 5 foot 8, but he has a he has good jumping and he has very very good physical stuff, so like I mentioned he's just everywhere and a very solid player, and links up the Alcestrenskan with the South African players on the left. And then uh, we have Ibrahim Moore, another AIK player, who's only 65 rated, has 76 pace and he's 5 foot 10. But he just feels so so strong, he dominates the midfield and is very very good. Along with that he has a pretty okay long shot on him and he has a long shot taker trait and uh, which makes it bet long shots better I think. And then right mid we have the Swede Emil Bayrami playing for um, Panathinaikos and he has 3 star skill moves, 2 star weak foot. I personally think he deserves the 4, uh, four star skills as uh, he's a very skillful and quick player in real life. He he also has a solid long shot and in game I think his long shot stat is 77 so I really really tried getting a long shot with him but I didn't have too much success. Also 81 pace uh, out there on the right mid. And then we come up to another 5 star skiller, Quincy Owusu Ape, 5 star skills, 3 star weak foot, 5 foot 11, He's, he was very 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 good for me, I really enjoyed him, He's along with it being fast and having good dribbling and 5 star skills which everybody sees, he also feels very strong. And compared to someone like Misuku, who does not get shrugged off the ball very easily. But I definitely recommend him. I think he cost me, yeah, he cost me 6.1k, which is a bit of a bargain for a player like him. And then left uh, left forward, we have Martin Kayongu Mutumba, uh, also an AIK player. I am an AIK fan myself, so I was very excited when building this team. We bought him in a left mid for 550 coins, so we had to convert him up. But he has a forced uh, weak five star skill moves, only 70 pace. But I think he must have great acceleration or something because he feels rapid, or not rapid, but he feels very fast in game and can get away from his opponents quickly. 
And then to finish off the squad, we have another AK player, a very fast one, very good physical stats like Melindy, good jumping, and so on. Five for nine, we have Kennedy Igbuanike, who um, scored. He was very good for AK this season. I think he scored 14 goals or something. He was very good. And um, yeah, I guess that more or less finishes off the team. Uh, if you, I'm going to leave you guys with some goals now. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. And as always, um, peace out.